U.S. President Donald Trump is sticking by his son-in-law and White House confidant Jared Kushner. Amid revelations that Kushner had undisclosed contacts with Russia's ambassador, Trump issuing a statement that Jared is doing a great job for the country. I have total confidence in him. In addition to that, and perhaps most importantly, he is a very good person. The administration's defense of Kushner coming after it was reported Kushner participated in discussions with Russia's envoy over setting up a secret back-channel communications link between the White House and the Kremlin. U.S. National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster in an off-camera interview saying back-channels aren't unusual. I mean, I mean we have back-channel communications with, in a number of, with a number of countries. No, I would not be concerned about it. But Kushner's communications with the Russians have drawn the interest of the FBI, which is investigating allegations Russia tried to meddle in the U.S. election and whether members of the Trump campaign colluded with agents of the Russian government. Russia denies any involvement, and the White House says there was no collusion. Our architects are here, our lenders are here, uh, all of our partners are here. Meanwhile, another problem could be looming for Kushner, his family firm's outreach to Chinese investors. The Republican chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Chuck Grassley, citing a Reuters report in calling for an investigation into, quote, potentially fraudulent statements and misrepresentations in marketing materials for a Kushner company's real estate project, which suggested those who invested might be able to obtain U.S. green cards. Kushner companies declined to comment. Jared Kushner's vaguely defined role as an unpaid senior White House advisor includes relations with China. He sold his stake in Kushner companies to a family trust earlier this year.